Good evening everyone. Um I'm here today to explain why I haven't uploaded many things on YouTube. Uh and it all goes back to my mental health. Um I was honest and I uploaded a little while ago that I actually got borderline personality disorder. And at the current moment, okay, and I try, okay, with me and my um, borderline personality disorder, I try for it not to rule me. I live by the motto of I control the illness, the illness doesn't control me. Um, recently, though, I have been a little bit down. Um, weather doesn't help, and I've had a few problems happening at work, and that's not been helping either. Um, both when I say I'm having problems at work, it's nothing to do with my employers it has to do more with things incidences that have happened on site but also incidences that have um happened outside and also it hasn't it's not the it's not the fault of the employers because at the moment Australia is going through a hard time so many people aren't going out and spending money so but the thing is I'm also struggling just a little bit financially um as I said it's not my employer's fault also it, it comes to the point that um at the moment I'm not available to work 2 days as well um so I've lost shifts because of that um but that's because I'm trying to get a better future and I'm actually doing an aged care course at the moment because I've decided I want to be become a nurse so physically I'm not doing draining stuff but I've been having to deal with a lot of um mental things and when I say mental I mean like um stress like um worrying about my finances um the incidents that have happened um that I've been worried about um but also with me when I don't have money or much money I tend to go into a loop where I don't want to get out of bed the only times I actually really do get out of bed is to go to work or to other commitments that I have but every other time i stay in bed because my head turns my my thinking turns to if i leave the house not only am i spending money on petrol now am i losing petrol um but when i go out i'll eventually want to buy something i would want a drink i would want this and if i'm out with friends um i will eventually want to um keep up not keep up with them but if they want to if they're buying makeup i want to buy makeup with them i want to do this with them i want to do that with them if i go to the movies it's not just about the movies if my friends buy popcorn and ice cream and drink i want popcorn ice cream and and drink if we go out i don't know for a coffee there's money there um so my mental my, my my thinking straight away goes to don't go out equals not spending money but then i get depressed about that and then i stay in bed um so that's what's been happening with me i haven't been uploading many um videos because i gone into routine like oh, i don't want to get out of bed um because of all that i've been feeling a bit depressed um I will be see, but see, I would like to go see a doctor about it. I would like to go and speak to someone about it. Um, like at the moment, I actually have referrals both for a dietitian and for a gynecologist because I'm having some physical problems as well. Like when I mean physical problems, I mean like health wise. <laughs> I'm having problems health wise, and I do want to lose weight. I want to get myself better. But at the end of the day, it comes to if I go and see these people, I will have to fork out money. Um, the dietitians for free because um, I like to thank the taxpayers. Even though I do pay tax myself, I like to pay, I thank the other taxpayers because I'm on low income. Um, because I'm technically classified obese, um, I am legally obese. I actually do get a few free dietitian um 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 what's your name dietitian um checkups and stuff for free um and taxpayer pays and i again like to thank the taxpayers for that but again even though that they're paying for it i am automatically feel like well if i go see them and then i have to fork out money f for you know um medicine 
or I have to fork out money for the petrol to get there. And what if I need to pay for something extra? What if they tell me I need to go buy something else, which isn't just medicine? And so my brain automatically clicks to that. Also with the gynecologist, unfortunately, I can't go see him because, or her, I'm not sure if it's him or her. I think it's a her that I'm seeing. Or is it him? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who I'm seeing. The whole point is, um, I do not have $250 to fork out to see him. I did have private health insurance, but you need to have money for that shit. And I do not have money at the moment. I've actually stopped paying my health fund. And I had 90 days, no, 60 days to pay back uh, to be able to catch up with my... Um, my, my private health fund, but unfortunately, I don't have the money for it, which means it's going to be automatically cancelled now because it's been more than 60 days, so it's been cancelled now, I'm pretty sure. I think I need to talk to them. I don't think they will extend it. And see, this is me, again, stressing out. This is me starting to avoid people. Instead of me trying to fix the problem, um, I start seeing phone calls on my phone and I stop answering them because mentally, in my head, I'm like, I can't cope with this. I can't cope, you know, I feel embarrassed that I can't afford these things. I can't, you know, I feel, I don't know, that's that's how I feel. I don't want to answer phone calls. I don't want to answer um, um, emails. I don't want to answer people who are calling, especially on private numbers, because I know they'll be then going, hey, what's going on? Why aren't you paying this? It's come to this point that even my mobile phone has been barred because I haven't been able to pay for it. Um, I got really, really annoyed with one of my apps. I downloaded um, the Snapchat and it was the same day. Unfortunately for me, it was the same day that it uploaded to the new, um, what's the name, the new um, chat feature to it. And in two weeks' time, and I hardly used it, but because it was running in the background so much, in two weeks' time, it ate up all of my internet and I did not realize this and so I ended up getting charged extra for my internet on my mobile phone at the end. So I'm now behind my mobile phone bill because of that. I've deleted um, um, Snapchat. I do not wish to have it anymore um, because it ate through it. Like it was, it was ridiculous. I only like send one or two Snapchats to friends and then all of a sudden my usage was gone. Like I had no internet. Um, I've, I've taken it off, it's, I no longer have that problem, thank goodness, but it has gotten me to a stage where not only can I afford medical stuff, I can't afford the basics, which is a mobile phone. And that's really important to me because of my line of work that I work at the moment. So there's a lot of things that I'm stressing out about. I have an awesome partner that helps me and calms me down. Um, but because of that, um, it's why I haven't uploaded. I hope, see, I, I'm... I'm pouring myself out there um, because many people would think, well, why is she talking about this? It wouldn't be this embarrassing. And, yes, it is embarrassing. But at the same time, I've had a thought about it. I've thought about it. And I've realized that a lot of people out there that ha think the same way as I do. And in a way, I would like other people to be a bit more compassionate for people like us who think the way we do. We don't want to not pay our bills. We don't want to get healthy. We don't want to, you know, be out there and have a social life. But our mentality, our, our thinking um, stops us from doing that sometimes. Um, it's gone to a stage for me as well that um, I can't afford my bills, my pills, and that makes me even worse than what I am. Um, I do have money at the moment. Like I, see, I know I can go up to my partner and go, can you buy me the pills? But do you know how, like, with me, I feel really embarrassed in doing that plus as well. I, what my very, okay, I'm very independent and I want to pay my own way. I want to, when me and my partner are in a relationship together, he pays his stuff, I pay my stuff. I am already feel like I'm a burden to him because he's been having to pay for my car, that needs to be paid for. He's paying for some of my rent um, when I can't afford my rent. He's um, paying for bills that I can't afford to pay right now. He's paying for the internet. He's paying for the energy. He's paying for everything, electricity. He's paying for everything at the moment. And I feel really bad because when I was younger, when I had my first ever relationship, I worked full time and I was with a different partner then. I worked full time. He didn't work. He had a job, but he would never get out of bed. He would never actually physically go to work. Um, I later on found out that he was using my money. Like, I was paying for all the bills. I was. He had access to my bank, my actual bank. 
um, online internet. So he could pay all the bills because he was obviously staying at home. He hadn't really much nothing else to do. So I thought, well, he can do the shopping. He can look after the home stuff while I go out there and work. I worked my ass off. I had a full-time job. I worked my ass off. I later on found out that all that money that he was taking for supposed bills and shit, he was actually, because he was bisexual, and yes, I knew that, um, he was taking guys out on dates, on lunches and stuff. Well, I was working my ass off. So with me, I feel that I don't want that to happen to a partner of mine. I don't want to be him. I don't want to be, you know, taking money of the other person that's worked because I know how it feels to work hard. I know how it feels for someone lazy not to um, work, not to do anything, whilst the, hard, the person who's working really hard has to pay for everything. And so that's how I feel about it. That's why I don't want my partner to go ahead and pay for um, all these bills, which I feel is my responsibility. And that makes me even sadder. It makes me more frustrated. And sometimes I can't explain that to my partner. And then he's freaking awesome but sometimes I'm in bed, not wanting to come out of bed, feeling upset, feeling sorry for myself. Um, and he will come and he will cheer me up. Um, and he tells me that I'm not a burden and that things will get better for me. And I, I, I totally, totally, totally believe that. But I think because of my past, because I have been used, I don't want to use him because I care for him so much. And so it's why it's really hard for me to open up and ask him for help because I don't, I, I feel like, I don't know, I, I feel like I might be becoming that person. Like I know I'm not, but I might betray that to him and he may leave me because, he, I know he won't leave me, but that's how my thinking goes all the time. It goes, oh, well, because he has to pay for this or because he has to help you with that. Um, so, yeah, so, this is why I haven't been uploading much, today I finally got up and did something different, which was, you know, finally uploading stuff, I had recorded a few things, but because I didn't want, you know, face the world, because that's what it is, I don't want to face the world until I know I've got things secure, one, like, I'm so, I'm really out there when, I do have the finances when I feel that I'm happy with what I'm doing. And I should be proud of myself because even though technically I'm not working that hard because, as I said before in the beginning, physically I'm not doing a lot of physical work right now. I'm not doing physical um, stuff that is tiring me out. I am doing a lot of things which are mentally tiring. As I said, stress is one of the biggest things for me right now that I'm trying to cope with. Um, another thing that is stressing me out is I think it's just because because I have gone back to study, even though it's only two days a week at the moment, um, because I'm stressing out about my finances, I then start stressing out about my work um, with my studies. Um, and the study stuff is in aged care. So at the moment, we're actually talking about really deep and um, heavy stuff. We're talking about dementia, palliative care. We're talking about the body system, etc. And I do want to become a nurse, and I know I have to start learning this stuff. But all this mental stuff is really tiring me out right now. It's making me um, have fights with my partner when I don't want to. It's not that I'm having fights with him. I'm pushing him away when I don't want to. I'm pushing people away that I care about away from me because at the moment I'm dealing with I don't feel that I'm worthy enough because I'm not getting enough, like I can't financially stay on my own right now. Um, so, yeah, um, I've got... I've got so many, you know, I'm just sharing how I feel. I've got a lot of things coming up that I have to pay. Um, um, yeah, so, like, I've got a lot of bills to pay. One of, I've got fines to pay, um, which are racking up to more than $1,000, and I need to pay that. I've got um, a, a bank that I owe money to, which I've had to stop paying because I don't have that extra money to pay them, even though... Uh, originally the the money was ten thousand dollars. I've gone down to I think six thousand five or five thousand or five thousand dollars, something like that. So I should be proud with myself that I've already paid for half of what I owe to people. I should be proud of myself what I've done so far. But mentally, especially when I'm not taking my pill, 
Um, and I do have some pills lying around the home, but that also fucks me up because I start taking them and then I look at how many pills I have and then I'm like, well, I won't be able to afford them this week or next week, so I'm going to hold back and only take them when I really need to. And that's that fucks me up over as well. Mentally, that fucks me over. My meds, I'm not letting my meds work properly recently. Um, so... Yeah, so hopefully the next update will be a happy one. Um, I am happy that I'm studying and it's going to be something that's going to help me in the future. Um, My other work financially, I am going to get other work because they're opening up a new store and I have been told that I'm getting more hours. So as I said, it has nothing to do with my employers. They are trying their best to do things. They have been very fair with everyone with with their working, they've got a new people in so they can have enough people at the old store so then he can take some of the um, more experienced stuff from that store to the new store, etc. So, as I said, it has nothing to do with my employers and like it has nothing to do with anyone except for me and it's how I'm thinking. Um, I'm trying really hard not to to cry, you know, and go ah, in front of everyone. Um, so this is just an honest video about my thinking, what my BPD does to me, um, how I stress out, and most of these things that I'm talking about, my partner doesn't know, so um, I will get him to watch this after um, when it's uploaded and stuff, um, but it's really hard for me to really open up. I'm the kind of person that has to do everything myself. I can't rely on other people. I have to do it myself. So it's really, really hard for me to go, I need help. That's why it took me forever to be able to be diagnosed because I was like, I don't have a problem, I don't have a problem, I don't have a problem, I don't have a problem. It was four years ago that I finally got diagnosed with what I had. I finally broke down in the doctor's office and told him, I have a problem and I need help and I'm here, help. Um, and I was able to get the help that I needed but... I'm at that stage again when I need help, and it's really hard for me to go, Oi, I need help. But as I said as well, financially, I don't, like, I, I refuse, technically, legally, I should be, I should be on disability, but I'm not, I refuse to be a person that relies on the taxpayers. I want to do it on my own. So that's why I refuse to go to Centrelink. I don't even have a healthcare card because not only that, I I can't stand Centrelink, staying in the lines and stuff. And and like the other day, I I thought I finally decided to get help, and I rang up Centrelink to ask, oh, can I get my um reference number that I have because I know I have a reference number with Centrelink from a few years ago when I had no work at all, and I had to finally ask for help. Rang up. It was a freaking 90 minute wait. They're like, oh, the lines are really busy. We have high demand on call. So you're going to be waiting on the phone for 90 minutes. Someone that stresses out a lot. Someone who stresses out a lot. Someone who doesn't like waiting in lines. Someone who's not that patient. Being told to wait 90 minutes on a phone. Mind you, I do not have enough, you know, um, what's today? The phone that I'm using isn't my phone. I'm using somebody else's phone because I do not have access to my phone because it's been barred. That just makes it even worse for me. And because I'm not taking my pills, it makes ten, ten times worse than what it is. Um, so I don't want it, – it's really hard sometimes, you know. Sometimes with me, I want a fast, easy solution – I don't want to wait for 90 minutes. I don't want to go through all the freaking paperwork all over again just to go, hey, I need help. Um, that's I don't bother with it because as well, like, for example, I lost my temper with the first time I was with Centrelink. Well, not the first time, but when I was with Centrelink and I just joined up for Centrelink for help, I applied for a job and it was an awesome reception position. It was actually in um, for the hospital. I'm pretty sure it was one of the hospitals. They were opening new new um, wings and stuff. And so I applied for it. And I got into the next stage. They only chose, out of everyone that they interviewed, five people. And they said, um, the best way to go forward now, what we want to do is to know that you are committed to do this. We would like you to do a course, a receptionist course. Even though I'd already done my, my certificate to business admin, because of the... 
um, apps, not the apps, why do I call it apps? Because of the programming that they use, they needed to be trained up, they want us to do it. So I grabbed all the paperwork, sent, went into Centrelink, I made an appointment with Centrelink, sat with Centrelink, I'm like, can you please approve this for me so at the end of these three weeks I get a full-time job as a receptionist. I lost my shit because they turned to me and told me, unfortunately you have not been part of the Centrelink system for long enough. You're not old enough to get help. You're young enough to do it on your own. We can't assist you with it. And you have to be on Centrelink for a whole year before we can actually say you can do this course and approve it. What the fuck? I lost my shit because I'm like, so you'd rather me be on Centrelink for a whole year before I get a job? Like, all I needed was a two, three week course and then I was gonna, I was guaranteed a job. I had to go back to the other people and say, I'm sorry, I can't do it because Centrelink won't approve it. And I lost that opportunity. So there's, there's a lot of things that have that that have pissed me off about Centrelink as well, and it stresses me out just to think that I have to go to Centrelink and you know talk to them and go I need help because also I feel that because of the other idiots out there that use the system really really badly because I've seen people use it pretend oh yeah yeah I'm not well enough not, not to go oh they go in and go I'm not well enough I'm sorry Centrelink I'm not well enough you know I can't find work I can't work blah 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 get the approval to not work and the next thing I know they're running around doing this doing that they have if you, if you, if you have enough um, um motivation to go out there and hang out with your friends and you know travel and do this and do that well why can't you use that time to get a job and actually work anyway that's a totally different story but I don't want to be portrayed as someone who doesn't want to work. I don't want to be portrayed one of those bludgers or or I, I, I don't want to be portrayed someone who has a disability that can't do anything for themselves. I've stood on my, I stand on my feet. I refuse to let the world tell me what I can and can't do. But then, I don't know, I fuck it up for myself as well because then I don't get the help that I really do need financially so then I can get ahead. Um, so, anyway, I think this is getting too deep and too long anyway, so, um, thank you for listening, um, I hope, I hope it helps someone, because this is actually designed to make me really nervous, and I'm not gonna, I don't want to talk about this anymore, I've opened up as much as I want to, and I can, um, but I hope this helps someone out there, hopefully, um, Hopefully I get people to understand us a little bit more, like us meaning people who stress out a lot, people who worry, people who get depressed, people who who try to stand on their own two feet. Um, yeah, um, and as I, as I leave, um, I want people to remember, like people who have BPD, people who have bipolar, people who do have some kind of mental illness. It's not the end of the world. It doesn't define who you are. You are beautiful the way you are. You shouldn't let people change who you are. Stress less, says the person who's stressing out heaps. Um, and find a way to open up and tell people how you feel and yeah, um, yeah. I'm not a guru, I can't, I'm not awesome and go, oh, I have all the answers to life. I don't. I don't have any answers to life, actually. I'm just trying to survive just like every Tom, Dick and Joe. Um, so I hope this wasn't too deep. I'll, I'll, I'll sign off now. Um, thank you for watching. Um, and if this has made you really, really upset or really down, please, please, go check my other ones. I'm not normally all this blah and all this down. Please check my other videos. I, most of them are really, you know, awesome. They're really uplifting. Um, yeah. All right. Thank you, everyone. Have a good night. Bye.